First and foremost, peace be with you. But what I will thank you and what I will tell you is that there is an element out there, although realtors, we want to be everybody's friend, right? You want them to buy what you're showing or to sell what you're showing through you, correct? I'm sorry. Are you awake? Am I correct? Unfortunately, unfortunately, there are those out there that only want what you have. Look to your left, look to your right. Go ahead. Don't they look great? Don't they? How many times have you driven to a site and other people see you get out of your car and you go, oh my, I better get in here quick. When you do an open house and it's posted in the paper or on web, Here's a clue. The bad guys know. As Rochelle said, the thugs. They don't care about you. They care about what you have and what they can take from you. They are opportunistic. You cannot afford. You cannot, do you hear me? You cannot afford to let these people hurt you. You can't. Your kids can't. Your spouses can't. It's up to you to keep your eyes open, your brain clear, your ears open, and when you do a walkthrough, if you walk in front of the people, you deserve the beating you're going to get. <laughs> Never turn your back on an opponent. Never take your eyes off an opponent. How do you know who your opponent is? You don't. It's a game. Yes, I can smile at you. Sure. Would you like to check this out? Oh, look at this magnificent structure. Oh. Look, folks, if they're going to buy it, they're going to walk through it, they're going to look at it, they're going to see it, they're going to like it, they're going to ask you, how much? Is there wiggle room? The property will sell itself. If you have to precess your people in, you're in a world of trouble. Because sooner or later, they're going to get you. Well, how many of y'all go to open houses and for, for, oh, say, 30 minutes, nobody shows up? Raise your hand. Right. Do you have newspapers? Periodically, we enlarge our minds. Bring a book. Hardcover's good. Really good. <laughs> And of course, you can periodically get into things like oh, the Star Report, reference Mr. Clinton. Oh, that was bad. But look at the size of the book. <laughs> Sensei Kenny, this is my brother from another mother, Master Sensei Ken Smith, if I may, sir. This is a rubber knife, honest to goodness. Kenny is going to stick me. But he can't. Step over. Thank you, my brother. Listen, he's going to stick me. But he can't. Because I got the book. You got the book. Now I'll do it nicer with a hardcover because it's hard. So I'm carrying it, striking him out, coming back and taking him down. There are many methods of movement. The base concept is inside out, outside in. Your hands should always be in some similar mess like this. Ah! What do you yell? What do you yell? Ah! Uh -uh. Fire! Fire! Ah! Fire! Aren't you gonna look? Fire, wouldn't you look? So does everybody else. The bad guy doesn't want that. Now, yes, I could show you silly things like stick me. Boom, ah, You know, the knife's out there. I'm safe. Wrong. Bend your elbows. Look at that. <laughs> you see something on TV? It might work on TV. <laughs> However, he's got implements. How many of you people go to a place and go, oh, how big is this room? Do you bring rulers? No. No? Tape measures? No. How about... How about wonderful little items like small flashlights? 
You better be bringing flashlights. You want to see what's inside those rooms, do you not? Yeah. When you walk in there, this is a little plastic thing, sir, if you will. And you can do the same thing with a flashlight. So that was a hammer fist. It's inside out, outside in. Inside out carries him across. He can't hit me with the other arm. Outside in. <laughs> same thing with a ruler. But even more fun, same thing with a rolled up paper. Oh my God, this guy, he's in here, or she. Bad guys do not have to be male. Ask Caitlin. Um, but, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. sorry, that was one of the belt. So, what we got going on here, we got a rolled up newspaper. Do the same thing with a magazine, sir. I want the notes, I promise. I'll go lower. <laughs> Go lower. Um, rolled up items. Watch the podium. Have power. It's a newspaper. It's a newspaper. Even worse. Worse than a newspaper? Yes. They let you on planes with them. <laughs> Box cutters are no match for a goody hairbrush. <laughs> you have three targets of opportunity that you want to work toward for every individual causing you grief. You take their breathing, their vision, or their movement, or any combination of those three. If you want to, write it down. You better memorize it. I don't care if they're wearing glasses. My handy dandy little goody hairbrush has saved my bacon more than once. There is never Never only one opponent. There's always somebody in the car ready to get those people out of there. There's always somebody, oh, could you show me this over here? And while you're walking over there with these people, the other person is going to a little room someplace, maybe to unlock a window or a door, because you've got to close it up. You, as a realtor, have to secure the owner's property. Am I right? You've got to make sure it's safe. Well, you better be sure you're safe. If you've got to walk the walk alone, and because I'm a Gemini, I'm never alone. However, <laughs> however, you need to bring your dragon with you. Everybody's got one. Ladies, your hands are probably not as strong as mine. Your arms and wrists probably are not as strong as mine. I can punch through concrete. Why? Because that way I knew that if I hit somebody in the pumpkin, by the way, the head is about as hard as a concrete block. And when you whack somebody in the face, if you don't do it properly, you're going to fracture your hand. Your fight thereby is minimized. That's what chicken wrists and such are for. We're not going to get into that. We're going to get into the dragon. The dragon deals with the concept. Again, you're afraid. Ah! Fire! Your hands are up and out. Man comes in with a blade, my hands are up and out. I pair it. Outside in. All I did was turn my body. I have not moved my feet. Now I've got him here, I bring my elbow to his head, trap this one and break his elbow against my chest. Rip his head back and throw him to the ground like a basketball. <laughs> Pop! Fight's over. Now you've got one more person. Find them. Because they're waiting for you. They just might not know what they're going to get when you get there. It's up to you. You have to rehearse the movements. If you don't rehearse the movements, you're not going to be able to do it in a timely manner. I'm telling you. Fact and not fiction from Dunks All Man. I'm taking this off so I don't hurt this young man. So, now, he's going to stick me. But if I don't rehearse, I'm going to get stuck. Remember, get your body out of the center line, outside in, boom, you're carrying it. Redirection. There might be a window there. Oh my. Right through the window. <laughs> now you have your out. Which brings me to another point. Know what this is? Shoe molding. I don't know if y'all can see the little marks and scuffs on them. But these are little wedges of wood that are at the base molding. You take a little piece, 
and you stick it under the edge of the door, they can't close the door because it catches on the top of the molding because the bottom is caught on the flooring. They have a difficult time. You know they're there. When you go to secure the house, pick them up, use them again. That way you have an out. Always have an out. Always do recon on your property. Reconnaissance will keep your bacon safe. Bacon is good, yes. It helps flavor foods. Flavors life as long as you're breathing. You have an option. You've got all kinds of options. My concept is, what are you wearing? What do you have on you? Well, you've seen some of the stuff I carry. How many here golf? Look down there, you see a tee next to you? These things are magnificent, in my opinion. Not only do they hold the ball high enough for me to whack it, or low enough for me to whack it low and let it go, but it also gives me another option. Kenny, I'm going to be real slow here. So I don't care, choke me if you want. That can be fun. Really? Uh, that's really good. I am. Let go. Let go. And he does. You stick a point in there, he'll get your point. Right in the hand. <laughs> you can trap him, drop him back. Now he's a littler guy than I, yes? Here's something fun. I want you to do a couple of palms, bring me in, and step back one foot. What are you? What happened? Was I up here? Was I controlling it? No. Why? I'm 230 pounds. What are you weighing at, little brother? 137. I can curl him with one arm. He has. And I have, yes. He's a lot of fun. Skill. The only way to get skill is to rehearse the movement. So you've got your help from this side. Fire. Fire. You've got your, from the side, what do you see? Do you see someone ready to fight? That's what you see here, yes? When you look and the cop says, what you see? We had his hands up in a warding off posture. And he screamed, fire. So everybody looked. I want them to see how good I look when I whack that guy. Same, same for you. I want you to have everybody in the area's awareness, hence fire. But with your hands are up, you, your honor, I was in fear of my life. The guy came charging in, and, and I had to move, but my fingers, my fingers went right into his eye. I didn't mean to, but he stuck his face on my hand. That's what Grandmaster says. Dang, dang, you did good, you brought out my talent. Let me help you up. How old is Grandma after me? 70, some 74. The guy beats me like a redheaded stepchild. What a great guy. Oh. <laughs> but I will tell you, if you don't practice it and you need it, you're in a world of stuff because you won't have it. If you practice the movement slow, outside in or inside out, with the legs work as well. Legs block from the hips down. Arms work from the hips up. The best thing in the world you can do if they jump on you and grab a hold of you is let them hold on. Both of their hands are tied up. Fight if you must. Win if you can, but always cheat. If you're going to fight, it is all on. Ladies, your kids, your guys, your families need you. How else are they going to do things the right way? <laughs> you better get dead serious. When it comes down to it, it's you or them. I'd rather it be you. <coughs> them, those people, they can drag their leg around after you're done. Ladies, how many of you are wearing heels? Oh, yes. Talk to me now. Because legs, grounding. Ladies, your strength is in your legs. Your best strength is in your mind. Keep your mind and you use your extremities. When you grab them for balance, thank you, sir. When you grab them for balance, or when they grab you and you latch onto them and you draw them down, bring that lovely leg up. Place that heel just below their knee. Place it into the inside or the outside, right behind the bone. And rip all the way down to the foot 
and try to shove that heel into the center of the earth. I guarantee you two things will happen. One is they're going to let go of you. Quickly. People scream and things will get wet, so step back. Um, I'm serious. You hook them with those lovely heels that you have, oh, break their foot. Gentlemen, same, same, different concept. You can't wear heels because it looks funny. However, you can use the inside edge of your heels. I, on the other hand, tend to like garments that have serration. There's a reason for it. Start to say candy if you would. I pair it and I go inside out, bring my leg up and rip across it. When I use the bottom of my shoe, the outside edge of my shoe, because of the serration, I can literally rip them apart. The fun part is, now the cops know who you are. I got your DNA. Yeah. <laughs> Even if they get away, they don't. So, I'd like everybody to stand up. Put your arms out in front of you. Elbows are in and down. The reason the elbows are in and down, you want to protect your liver and your spleen. Ladies, you want to protect the girls. So tuck those elbows in. I don't know if you girls have ever been slapped on the breasts, but it will take your air out. It's almost the same as hitting a guy down in the nether regions. That is a happy target, it's just hard to hit. It's hard to hit because guys have learned over the years. Uh-uh. We have learned the pucker factor. <laughs> you need to open that pucker factor up. So your hands are up. Elbows are out. Nice and tight into the ribs. So now you've got those elbows down. The hands are out there. So all you do is turn the waist. Go to the right. You're right. That's Yes. So as you're carrying, that's what that is. It's a redirection. It's always fun when they lunge in, and you do that, you get to run them into stuff like buildings, fire hydrants, works outside too in between cars. If your hands are out here and their hand is stuck towards you, you can even grab their arms. Just close your fingers. Look at that. Now, if you take your foot and step one foot behind the other and turn around, if you have a hold of their arm, they follow you. Guys, where you want them to go? Down the stairs. <laughs> That's kind of fun. So, with the hands in, and extend it out, elbows in and out. Right hand, your military right, I'm going to do it with my left. So, you the right way. So, I'm coming from here, I'm just going to my shoulder. Look at that. Now, the other hand can extend straight out. A little higher, because you know you're reporting them off. So that hand with the fingers up can slide under the glasses or over the glasses. Doesn't matter. Shove the lenses in. I don't care. <laughs> then you're going to slide your hand down when you grab their wrist with that right hand. You're going to slide the other hand down and shove forward. Guess what you got? That's right. Little eyes just thrown across the road. Let them follow them. <laughs> same, same other side. Turning the other way is a grip here and a stick here. With a rip down, guess what? They can't see you. If they can't see you, you can get away. What you're learning today is how to get away. You don't want to try to fight somebody like me. The bad guys don't either, they just don't know it. I would like that to be with all of you. All of you. You better be aware of what's going on around you. Can you put your hands out beside you? Way out to the side. If you wiggle your thumbs and fingers while you're looking at me, can you see them move? Yeah, yes. Can you? I don't hear you. Yes. yes. Bring them a little bit forward. Can you see them? Yes. yes. That's about a 180 degree, folks. That's 180 degrees of peripheral visual awareness. God gave you two eyes, two ears, and one mouth. Unfortunately, mine tends to be loud. I learned how to speak over cannon fire. So what you need to do when you're in a situation where you think somebody needs to walk through the house instead of follow your wonderful self through, put your back to a wall and tell them, please, go ahead in front of me. It's okay. Just look around, see what you see, think what you think. We'll talk about it at the end. 
You do not need to lead them in. Are you understanding that? Yes, yes sir. sir. Don't lead them in. If you lead them in, you deserve the beating you're going to get. <laughs> Serious is a heart attack. It's the same thing if you fight. If you have to fight, it'll last longer than a minute because you haven't tried to escape. Guess what? You deserve that beating. I'm showing you ways that you can get away. The dragon. I brought some pads. My brother Kenny brought some pads. We will be working with them slowly, those who wish to. Now what I'd like you to do is face each other. Pair up, just face each other. Since they Kenny. I know. I know. No talking is needed. Face each other. Choose one to the right or the left. Now, one of your pair, raise your arm. One of you. The one with the arm raised is the person reaching in. <laughs> this time. This time. So the person reaching in, gently, very, very slowly, with that arm that is up, lightly reach down and touch the shoulder of your opponent. Ah, uh, I don't care which shoulder. Now remember, you're afraid, right? I say again, you are afraid, correct? Now right now it's a scare thing, it's fun. Your hands are up. Fire! I want to hear it! Oh yeah! Now, can you say fire with one of your two arms? I prefer the defender. The defender reaches up. I say again. Reach up. If you're teaching, come up here and hit me. Okay. So, the defender, with their hands up, takes one hand and places it on the arm of the other. Grip them somewhat firmly. Now, the other hand, you want to place over the forehead. Do not hurt them. Do not
How many of you people carry an ink pen? Ink pen. Oh yeah. Ink pens are great. Ink pens are great. How many of you people have heard the thing where you take a set of keys, stick the keys in between your fingers? You hear that? And then you punch somebody with it? If you do that, it's going to hurt you. Because when you stick it in their forehead, when you stick it in their forehead as you're ramming your hand through there, it's going to split down in between your fingers. The best bet for you at that point in time would be to hold the keys between an index finger and a thumb. Use a serrated edge to rip with. That's the guide. How many new people carry firearms? How many new people are licensed to carry firearms? How many new people have actually pulled a firearm? In a situation. It takes 2.3 seconds for the average individual to pull a firearm. To bring it to line. 2.3 seconds. Folks, that's a world. That is a very long time. My problem with firearms is when you pull them out, if you're able to get them out, because ladies, let's be serious. If you're not carrying these things on your body, and they grab your purse, they have your weapons. Use your purse like a mace. You have stuff in there. Be with it. Take the vision, the breathing, or the movement from an opponent you won that fight. Now, that said, firearms are all well and good. Tasers are all well and good. Stun guns are all well and good. Sprays are all well and good. Everything has its drawback. Your skill. Your awareness. If you don't use the periphery, you won't see it coming. 